welcome to Shropshire. Well, it's been nice absolutely lovely to be back in Shropshire. And how have you found it? Oh, it's wonderful. Well, I had very happy memories of being the candidate here mm -hmm. in 2001 when I was in the neighbouring seat of the Reekin, which oh, obviously yes. tells the Reekin so much. Yeah. Uh, one place, really. Yeah. And so I always love coming back. Yeah. And have you brought some news for, in particular, for the people of Iron Region along the Severn River? Because we've had so many, so I've been down here so many times this year just talking to business people and residents about some of the issues we've had. Flooding and so on. Have you been able to bring any reassurance? I mean, it has been a really hard year for people here, hasn't it? Because yeah. not only have they had the flooding earlier in the year, but then the coronavirus, and I've just been uh, visiting very from the um, teddy bear shop yeah. and the um, only British manufacturer of teddy bears, yeah. and they've, they've had a tough time, and businesses has been adapting. I mean, the government schemes to furlough people and provide support for the self-employed have gone some way to helping people through the drop in demand, but it's trying to make sure that the uh, demand picks up and helping the economy generally, yeah. and then it's about the flood protection schemes, which the government is, is working on. Yeah. Yes, I've, I've, uh, I've seen some of the announcements. Okay. And uh, have you been able to pass on that message to Sarah at Mayport? Yes, yes, we, 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 we had a chat, and I bought a teddy bear. Okay. Uh, well, I, I've, got, I've, I've got six children of my own, so I, I yeah. buy six teddy bears, and I bought one for um, uh, a nephew of mine who was born just before lockdown started. I bought the, the um, classic, uh, what would you expect? I bought the most old fashioned teddy bear. <laughs> Fine, I wasn't going to buy some modern uh, 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 synthetic bear, the proper traditional teddy bear. Okay, I think the message now is that we ought to be talking about getting back to work. That um, the uh, number of deaths from coronavirus has been falling steadily. The transmission of the disease has come down. Uh, that people need to be thinking about getting back to normal life. And to do so with confidence, because there are risks from remaining in a permanent state of lockdown. And there are not just economic risks, but there are also health risks. And so my message would be Prime Minister to set out a roadmap for opening up so that we can have a fully functioning economy again by Christmas. And I just urge people to um, take that first step because I know some people are still very worried and be confident, begin to get out and about. And I must say it's lovely for me, it's my first um, trip that hasn't been between home and work really for quite some time. And today it's nice to get out and about uh, and realise that it's safe to do so. I mean, the similar could be said for Bangkok, for instance, who've had sort of a lot more lax measures towards social distancing, and they've had virtually no no deaths at all. You know, so I really think that we, we need to be observing other countries and, and, and the numbers because we, we know that British figures have been inflated, numbers have been double counted, and we've got a very fraudulent situation that, that, that we need to hold the government accountable for because this is destroying uh, a lot of smaller businesses in areas like this where people rely upon tourism. You know, it is causing so much decimation that's going to go. Oh, you're, yes. you're yeah. absolutely right, but we do need to understand what the real numbers are. Yeah. And, and if either of you have had the coronavirus and you're run over by that car, uh, even if you recovered three months ago, you will be counted as coronavirus. Exactly, yeah. And that is obviously absurd. Yeah. It's got yeah. to be wrong. Completely and, so. and so those things, now they've been revealed, they need to be changed. Yeah. Is that something you're going to be voicing in Parliament? Well, the, the, the Health Secretary said he's looking into that already. Yeah, so I mean, this, this is something that's been known for, for a long time. We've seen a very sort of lackadaisical approach from the Conservatives towards this crisis in general. That only came out last week. I think lackadaisical is a long term. Um, the government may have done things we don't think were right. And we may find out that mistakes are made at all this level. It hasn't been lackadaisical. It's been working very hard to try and do the right thing. Yeah, we've got to go. Well, it's just that Sarah's yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I get back to you? There are some of the things, so I'm going to be here.